Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're going to try Aqua di Parma Colonia Essenza. So we're going to start with the presentation. The bottle has the same shape as every Aqua di Parma. It's uh, just all black with standard white and black label. They are not always black and white. It's just the branding for this one is. Come with within a cylinder cardboard thing. Something you need to know is that they make uh, perfume like their eau de, eau de Cologne concentration. I don't know, if, they probably have some perfume that are not eau de Cologne. Um, but I'm not quite sure. I, well, I would assume that they're all Eau de Cologne. Something else also to, to note about this perfume is that, you know, in, in the old time when this perfume company was made, people used to have handkerchief with them. And there was the fashion of putting perfume or fragrance on the handkerchief. And Aqua di Parma was made especially to put on handkerchief. It, it, they are perfumes for handkerchief. They're not made for the body. I mean, nowadays things change, formulation and all, and uh, people are not using handkerchief anymore, mostly. So it is made to be worn on yourself. But I mean, originally, Aqua di Parma fragrance are made to be put on handkerchief. So that said, we're going to try on paper to smell. So before I smell it, I need to tell you that on my skin, I feel it, it smells like lemongrass. And there's no lemongrass in it, but that's the feel it gives me. On paper, what I smell, I smell some lemon. I smell the citrus. Lemon, orange, bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, all like mixed together. You can get facet of each of them, especially bergamot, orange, and lemon. I get a little bit of rosemary. And I think it's the lemon and the rosemary together that gives me the feel of, you know, some herbal lemon or lemongrass. Pretty much all I get get some spiciness too from the clove and this perfume smell extremely natural it it, it you smell it and it, i know there there's some stuff there that are probably not natural anymore like the bergamot for example or the lemon, all the citruses are probably not uh, natural. Grapefruit is probably not natural. But the fragrance by itself, it smells really natural. And I'm sure there's a lot of natural ingredient. Like rosemary, it's probably real rosemary that's inside of it. Patchouli in it and all those bunch of ingredients, I'm sure they're natural. So for the complete note breakdown, top notes are lemon, orange, bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, and Petit Grain. Heart notes are Rosemary, Rose, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, and Clove. And the base notes are Patchouli, White Musk, and Ember. And you know who I would see with this perfume? It's, you know, it's like classic Italian fragrance. And I, I would see a classic Italian businessman wearing this fragrance. Someone that dress sharp and like with a suit with a little like pocket square and that just want to look and smell sharp maybe someone that works in fashion like he's having a suit company or is a tailor maybe he's having something else related to fashion but this is who i would see with this fragrance you know for for the, the longevity it last like three to four hours it's not really good and the projection is really low and it's just it just uh it's just a skin scent but at the same time it's getting cold and for me this is a summer fragrance 
So if you put it during summer, it will project more. It might last longer a little bit too because your skin will be less dry, more oily, and it will keep the perfume. So for me, it really is a summer fragrance. It will be really bad in winter, even fall and spring. It would not be good yet. Really need to be with summer in the high heat to be really at its best. And I would say that any setup that will go with it need to be in summer. So it could be nice as a seductive fragrance. It wouldn't be the best, but in summer, in some setting, if you go on a picnic or some like social event, could be a nice perfume. Need to dress it up, that's for sure. For a business perfume, it could be good. Again, only in summer. And as an everyday perfume, I don't think it will be so good because it doesn't last really long. And the perfume, it's still a bit expensive. Like it's not like super expensive, but I mean, for something that uh, you will need to apply a couple times a day if you want to wear it as an everyday fragrance, maybe buy a second bottle to have one at home and one at work. It's not the best. So I don't think it will be a good everyday fragrance. But again, this fragrance was made to be put on clothes. So maybe if you put it on clothes, I haven't tried it on clothes. Maybe if you put it on clothes, it will last longer project, probably not more, but uh, maybe it will be good if you were the kind of person that put perfume on your clothes, but it's still not like the best perfume for everyday fragrance. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, we'll like and share. If you tried, this perfume or any other Aqua di Parma, just write it in the comment. I'll be really happy to hear from you. So thanks for watching and see you soon.